Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the features I missed to mention in my previous videos about December 2022 feature drop for Pixel devices and the QBR2 Beta 1. Both updates got released in December, but there are some features that started to appear after creating the videos, so I consolidated all of them in this one. So let's find out what's new. I will start with the features related to December 2022 feature drop, and then I will move on to QPR2 Beta 1. And the first feature I'm going to talk about is the airplane mode. After installing December update, you will notice that when you activate the airplane mode, now it memorizes your previous selections. So if you take a look here, you will see a message saying that my Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth will stay on. Your phone remembers to keep Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth on, on in airplane mode. To change this, turn them off. So that means at a, at a certain point, I activated the airplane mode and then I moved to my Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and activated both of them. And based on my previous action, the phone now memorizes what I did last time and took the same action for me. But if I turned off Bluetooth while activating the airplane mode, next time I activate airplane mode, it will not keep my Bluetooth turned on. So let's turn on Bluetooth one more time and then activate the airplane mode again. As you see, my Bluetooth is now off and it didn't turn on like last time. And this is a neat feature and it will uh, save you from doing the same action over and over again every time you activate the feature. The second feature I'm going to talk about is the consolidated security and the privacy page. A lot of people mentioned in the comments that they didn't get the feature after installing December update on their Pixel phones. I faced the same problem on my 6 Pro and I found the reason is related to the Google Play system update. So all you need to do is to go to settings and then go to security and privacy and look for the Google Play system update. Make sure you are on November 1st, 2022. Once you do this and restart your phone, the feature should appear after a few hours. So please let me know in the comments if you did the steps and the issue got resolved for you or not. Change number three is the four new live wallpapers that you will find under wallpaper and the style. Then a change wallpaper. You will see a new category here called live bloom and you should see it on the Pixel 6 models and later. It includes similar wallpapers to the one we first got with the Pixel 6 models, but they have their own category and you will find them separated from the normal bloom category. So they look slightly different, but they have the same parallax effect. The fourth thing I'm going to talk about is the free Google One VPN for the Pixel 7 users. This feature is only available in the countries that officially sell the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro models. And I don't have it on my phone because I'm not in one of these countries, but I still can show you what you will get from this feature. All you need to do is to open the Google One app and then tap on VPN to show to uh, to activate the feature and as you see here the first thing we have is the toggle to activate it and once you tap on it you will get a quick shortcut to snooze it for five minutes but because i'm not in one of the supported countries it says here vpn isn't available in your current location so i will ignore this and move on to the next section here it will show you the benefits you will get from the google one vpn it will reduce the online tracking by hiding your ip address it will you will stay protected from hackers on unsecured networks and finally, you can browse the web with a secure and a private connection. So this VPN will only give you security. It doesn't allow you to choose a, a specific country to modify the content of certain apps like Netflix, for example. And it doesn't work the same way as other VPNs. So all you get here is some added security and that's pretty much it. And when you scroll down, you will see more options like the ability to allow certain apps to bypass your VPN. And when you tap on update settings, it will show you the full list of apps you have and you can tap the plus sign to allow these apps to bypass your uh, VPN connection and use the normal one. And if you want to revert back, you can use the X next to it. And then you will get also a quick VPN tile in your quick settings. So when you go to your quick settings, you should see here uh, VPN by Google, which will allow you to activate the feature straight away. And the last thing I'm going to talk about before jumping to the QPR2 Beta 1 is the speaker labeling feature in the Google Recorder app. 
Till now, I didn't get it on my 7 Pro and it's been like three weeks since Google released that December 2022 update. So please let me know in the comments if you got the feature and what's your experience with it. And once I get it on my phone, I will definitely include it in my Google Apps updates episodes to show you how it works. Now let's talk about the features I missed in my previous video about QPR2 Beta 1. And the first change is in the lock screen. If you take a look closely here, you will see a smaller screen lock icon here on the always on display and the same applies to the lock screen the change is only related to the size but they work exactly the same with the same animations but there's one interesting thing in this build that i knew about from casey golden he or she dropped a comment saying that the widget stacking is somehow working in this build and he or she managed to stack two widgets on top of each other which are keep notes and the weather widget and I tested this on my 7 Pro and it seems to be the case. As you see here, I have keep notes and the weather and I can stack it on top of the other. Let me try this one more time. But you just need to get the right angle to work for you. So here you go. Now I have the two widgets on top of each other. And I can also make it slightly on top or behind the other widget if I want. But it takes some time to get the right spot for this to work. As you see, it's a slightly on top of the weather widget as well. So it seems like Google is experimenting with the widgets stacking and hopefully we will see it in the future. And lastly, if there is no enough light for your face unlock to work, you might see a message on the lock screen says not enough light. Please let me know in the comments if this is something new to QPR2 Beta 1 or you already have it in December 2022 update because I started to see this only after installing QPR2 but I'm not sure yet so please let me know in the comments. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the features I missed in my previous videos about December feature drop and the QPR2 Beta 1. Please let me know in the comments if you spotted more features so I can include in my future videos. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you the next video.